Welcome to the Art Lady's home. I am here in my pool and I am viewing the garden and I am contemplating putting in some Blue Days plants. And I love Blue Days. I have some in my front yard and I've had them for about, uh, I'd say four or five years. And they've just come right back um, in the spring. Over winter, they just lose their flowers. Uh, we're in zone nine, so there's no frost or very, very little frost. Uh, last year, I don't even think I had any frost here. Um, so they survive nicely. But um, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to bring the color of the pool here and I'm planting with a purpose. I'm planting so that I can bring the color of my pool into my yard. So if I step back a little bit, I'll show you as we're in the pool. So here I am actually right here in the level of the pool where you would be swimming. And you can see, we can see some of the vincas, the bright magenta color flowers. But I wanna bring the pool color, the blues of the pool here into the garden. And I'm gonna do that with the blue days. And I'm just in the process of redoing my backyard since the pool was built. So my plan is to take the blue days and here you can see it through the screen. I'll um, show you close up later what it looks like. But I'm gonna take the blue days and I'm gonna plant them in, first of all, one I'll plant in the swan planter and we'll see how that survives. It's very hard for me to get plants to survive in that planter because it's so shallow and so small. Uh, but we're gonna try. I have a Angelona, I believe, a white Angelona that's in there now that's surviving. Um, but I may be able to only put one plant. I'm not sure. It seems like every time I put another one into the swan, the other one always dies. But my plan is to plant the three urns here that are in front of the screen room with the blue days so that as I look out, I can see the cascade of that bluish purple flower, um, which blends nicely with the pool. And I also want to bring some of that Blue Days color back near the fence. So I will plant it in the um, hummingbird planter, which is that rectangle planter right there that you see in the center. And when the um, magenta variety that are in my urn here die off, then I'll stick some Blue Days in there as well. But I want to bring that as much blue to my backyard as I can so that my pool blends nicely with the landscape and I have some chase bushes which are starting to bloom in the back here so that'll look beautiful once that light purple comes into play I don't think you can see it from here if I zoom in a little bit closer it's hard right through the screen because we're viewing it through my screen but you can see in the center there's some purple there as well so I'm tucking in um, some of that blue violet and if you look directly above the pink flower is some of the chase tree blooming, which is actually just a shrub right now. But this is my idea and that's my plan is to bring the blue of the pool throughout the yard and the backyard. So I'm gonna be planting as much blue as I can, but my first thing to do is the blue days. And like I said before, I really love this. And it's a, um, it's a winner for me because it keeps on coming back year after year. And that's my goal is to get a lot of perennials that bloom long have long bloom time and then that do come back year after year because um, I don't want to have to keep on planting annuals after annuals after annuals especially um, in the uh, hot Florida Sun it's just too hot and too hard for me to keep up as I age so I want to set my yard with a lot of perennials so as I redo this um, backyard space um, I'm gonna be incorporating more of those bluer family perennials. I did stick in a lot of the vincas here um, just for quick show real fast and they were on a super duper clearance price so that's why I stuck in the the, um, the vincas but I wanted to show you the view from the pool and that's actually my purpose. The purpose of what I'm doing is I'm creating a backyard that's beautiful to look at, this little garden from my pool area because this is where we'll be spending most of our time here out on the pool deck year round. So I do want to have a beautiful views and I really love just relaxing and sitting in the pool and looking out at the garden. It's almost like, you know, if you were at a garden or a park, you'd be sitting on a bench, but here I'm just relaxing in the pool, looking out onto my garden, which is my little slice of heaven. 
So that's my, my idea, and so I'm going to go ahead and plant them up, and then I'll show you what they look like. Well, I stuck them in, and let's see if you can see them from here. You can see the little bit of blue. I'm going to try it in the swan planter. But I think the color's gorgeous right here. And once that fills in and drips down, I think it's going to be beautiful. And it'll bring the blue of the pool up your eye to the planters. Here they are here. Come down in. And the planters are right near the steps here as you come in so it really shows off beautiful I did plant some in the hummingbird planter in the very very back I'll have to show you when I'm out of the pool and I stuck some I believe it's Veronica in as well into my um, perennial border here of pink and it's an actual purple it's a purple Veronica speedwell I believe it is but here is the three planters let me show you back here. You can barely see the color in the planter now. Of course, it's you know about well, it's, it's about to rain, so it's all overcast and cloudy. But I think I'm going to really like that color in there, and I'm pretty excited about it. So this is the beginnings of redoing the backyard to complement the pool. Um, I want my landscape to blend with the with the pool. But I'm really liking that planter. I can really see it coming here. The light on this one comes in. Now the other planters that are around my yard I have to redo. I'm repainting them and all matching so that they blend but this is just the beginning of it. And there is the blue daze that's in the planter right there. And so it's going to look really beautiful. And then there's the swan one. They're really small plants that I purchased. It was a six pack, I believe, for like eight dollars. But the color's really beautiful. And it'll go with that. See how it matches the pool? That deep blue. really pretty. I did put, um, I did tuck some in over here to this planter so that that'll take over the planter. And like I said, this pink flower is on its way out, so um, the blue will take over. And then here's the border here. A little purple Veronica Speedwell. And then here's the hummingbird one right here. And I stuck the blue daze right in the very middle so it can spill over. And on each side of the blue daze is a, um, it's a type of a lavender, but those two lavenders aren't very hardy in Florida. So we'll see how they do on the, um, in the planter. And there it is. And there we have it, adding blue days to our landscape to provide unity with the pool.